congratulate uh, Minister Hunt and the federal government on this incredible announcement today and launching the Australian Parkinson's mission. I am so proud to stand here uh, and hear somebody speak really who has passion, important, vision and belief. My personal interactions with Parkinson's started nearly 20 years ago and I uh, endeavoured to get my head around this disease and I launched headlong into seeing patients as part of my research and I clocked up 200 patients in four months who I assessed across the clinic, but more importantly in their own homes and most importantly in nursing homes. And what I tell anybody who comes to work with me in the research setting or in the clinical setting is that if you can't get fired up watching what this disease does to people's lives, not only the patients, but everybody it touches, then frankly, you're not gonna be on my team. I am so pleased to see so many people who have joined the team today, where our federal government have allowed us to deliver trials where we will deliver hope over hype. How will we do that? Anthony, our, our scientific lead, has touched upon some of these things, but I wanted to reiterate some of these important points. I see this as effectively three, maybe more important groups. The first important group I want to touch on is the clinicians, the neurologists, the geriatricians, the allied health workers, who will help to deliver the clinical trials. Many of my colleagues are in this room uh, from around New South Wales and across Australia. We have been working uh, already behind the scenes to make sure that we have a network of people who are absolutely passionate and committed to this cause. And I know from my conversation and dealing with them that we are battle ready. We are absolutely delighted to be part of the Australian Parkinson's mission to deliver what we need to do. The second arm that I want to talk about is the scientists, and uh, maybe Anthony is a little bit too modest, but the bottom line is uh, the leading cause of bushel fires in Australia is hiding the light under the bushel, um, and Australian scientists should not hide their light under the bushel when it comes to fighting Parkinson's disease. We have got some of the leading scientists working on the mechanisms that underlie Parkinson's disease at the cellular level, and also, as we've heard, at the genomic level. And thirdly, uh, the group I want to touch on, probably the most important group, and those, of course, are the patients, many of whom have managed to join us in this room today, and many of whom I shall dash from this meeting and go and see in the clinic. Uh, and effectively, those people have been waiting desperately here in Australia, wanting to be part of something as big and as important as the Australian Parkinson's mission. These people are dedicated, they're devoted, and they understand our goals. And what we've seen today with the launching of the Australian Parkinson's mission is this collaboration, both national and international, which will deliver, if you like, a smarter clinical trial, where we don't just test drug after drug after drug, if the trial is negative, we are going to learn things from this trial because our clever scientists will deliver. We will make sure that the next thing that we do is smarter because we invested by virtue of the funding that we have today. So finally, I will close by saying that we have no right to expect a cure. But I ask everybody in this room to remember we have no right to stop trying. Thank you so much for your attention.